go ahead and move into our citizens wishing to be heard portion of our meeting. Our first citizen, Mr. Parker, if you would please come forward, state your name and your address, please. Hello everyone, Steve Parker, 4474 Green Island Road, Valdosta, 31602. I'm here uh, on behalf of Deep South Sanitation as a private citizen. I have no, <coughs> excuse me, no financial interest of any kind in Deep South. But Carrie and I have developed a friendship at Lance High School football games. I know I have five minutes, Mr. Slaughter. And uh, we, we started talking about uh, the trash business, and I hired him to come take my trash away because I, frankly, was very dissatisfied with the previous trash company who would literally leave bags sitting beside a full can and dump the can and leave the bags. So being a citizen, and Mr. Rain said it beautifully, wanting freedom in his prayer, I agree with him. I wanted the freedom to make a choice, so I hired Deep South. Now I'm told that it's been the position of the board to dismantle Deep South, to tell him to cease and desist, and to take away his business license, which he got from the previous board. I know a lot of you inherited this issue, by the way. But at the same time, what is the greater good being served to the county? Why are we taking a family-owned business and running them out of business, in effect? And and what's wrong with competition? I'm in the financial business. If somebody would give me an exclusive to every client in Lowndes County, it'd be a pretty good day for me. But Veoli, or Advanced, as they're now known, has an exclusive. I could understand if the county were in the business of picking up garbage. I get it. Sort of like the Valdosta City model. I get that. But I don't get this. Where we're granting a private company a monopoly. It makes no sense to me. I'm just here to ask you, what, what would be the problem with letting him continue? Why do we have to tell him to cease and desist? Advance, again, is a private entity. I understand why things happen when the government takes over. I can't get my water. I have to get my water from Lowndes County because I live in Stone Creek, right? I get that. But at the same time, I could go dig a deep well in Stone Creek, even with all their covenants, and I could take water from my deep well. But I'm not allowed to do that with deep south sanitation. I have to hire who the county has told me to hire. It doesn't make any sense. What's the next step? Tell me what plumber to use. Tell me what financial advisor to use. Tell me what service industry to use, whether it's air conditioning, heating, whatever the case may be. I don't understand. Deep South right now, ladies and gentlemen, is gaining customers. And as I talk to members of the community, tax paying people in this community, everybody is outraged that this would happen and that we're taking a family owned Lowndes County business that pays taxes in Lowndes County and moves that money to a company headquartered in New York. It makes no sense. So it's not just me. I'm a spokesman. That's all I am. I'm one little citizen out there, guys. That's all I am. But what I am saying to you is I think that I've talked to Kerry. He would pay the three dollars a ton that's being paid by Veolia to dump the trash or advanced. He would pay that. He's a fair businessman. But what are we going to do about this problem? And I'll, add, I'll leave with one last question. If we took a vote in Lowndes County of the general population of Lowndes County and said, you have a vote, you can vote to have a choice in your garbage collection, or you can vote and we are going to make you use a certain company, what would that vote be? Thank you very much.